Welcome in, it is the Ace of Shock Wrestling back at it for another video and I am going to be looking at the Bad Blood card and doing some predictions here. I'm excited for Bad Blood to come back. I've always been a fan of the name in general. You know, when you think of it, you think of like Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels, Batista versus Triple H. Both were in Hell in a Cell matches. It only makes sense that the headlining match of the night is CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. And uh, we've also heard some news about a certain tag team match, so we'll see if that main event's it. But let's start with a definitely a match that has bad blood. Damian Priest versus Finn Balor. This is kind of a toss-up. It could kind of go either way. You can have Damian Priest get his first big win as a babyface on pay-per-view, or you could keep the new Judgment Day momentum going with Finn Balor defeating him, probably with shenanigans involving JD McDonough or Dom or Carlito, who just wants to hang out and play video games in the Judgment Day room. That's literally why he's, you know, he's there. So yeah, this is one of the harder ones to predict, actually, but I think I'm going to go with Finn Balor. This probably isn't a one-match program, and they're probably going to do a rematch, whether it's on a Raw or the next PLE, but my pick is going to be Finn Balor for this match. We got a WWE Women's Championship match between Nia Jax and Bayley. I honestly thought the way the story was going, it was going to be Nia Jax versus Bayley versus Naomi in a triple threat match, but... We're just getting a rematch from SummerSlam. I'm assuming Nia's going to win. There's got to be shenanigans involved, though. Is Naomi turning heel? Is she going to cost Bailey the win? Maybe that's the direction we're going? This just seems like a very basic match that needs something to get me interested in it. But prediction-wise, I'm going with Nia Jax. No doubt about it. But... I think something's got to happen. We got the Women's World Championship between Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley with Dominic Mysterio hanging in a shark cage. So, almost like all shark cages in recent times. Um, and the same way, where something happens with the heel, where they let down a weapon or something. They get involved in the match somehow, despite the shark cage being like you're not supposed to get involved. I don't know if they'll just go that route. I think no matter what, I'm going to be sports entertained. And I'm actually looking forward to this match. We technically got the custody of Dominic hanging from a rafter, even though Rhea Ripley doesn't really want Dom anymore. I don't. It doesn't seem like they're going towards that kind of reunion. But, just like Finn and Damien, I think they're going to keep this new Judgment Day thing going. So I think Liv Morgan will retain her world title here. And maybe that's the end of the Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley feud? I don't know. Maybe Rhea Ripley faces Dominic Mysterio next? That was my, that was my WrestleMania 41 prediction back like before WrestleMania 40. So I kind of hope it does happen at some point. Alright. We got CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre inside Hell in a Cell. These two have headlined the past two PLEs. At SummerSlam, Drew got the win, and then at Bash in Berlin, CM Punk won a strap match. And I think it only makes sense for CM Punk to win this match. He technically hasn't pinned Drew yet, so a definitive pin inside Hell in a Cell to me is like the grand finale to this rivalry. The build up to that I think is gonna be a great match. There's gonna be some fun spots. CM Punk, please be careful. Do not get injured. Uh, seriously, I've been a big fan of this run. And yeah, I think it's been a good comeback in WWE first, you know, program for CM Punk. And it's just bigger things to come I think after this. CM Punk will finally lay out Drew, and then he could move on to something bigger. There's been a lot of debate online if the Hell in a Cell match is main eventing, or it's this match with Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu. This is another toss-up for me, because you could push this new bloodline by having Sokoa and Jacob Fatu winning, 
Or you can have Cody and Roman win. Yeah, this one could really go either way. There was a bit of a hint on the Pat McAfee show, which I still think this is a stretch, but now it's heavily rumored that The Rock will make an appearance uh, af after this match, or maybe during. And maybe it's going to be a whole, like, Hulk Hogan walking down the ramp, which side is he on type of deal. I'm not sure how they will present that. For the match itself, Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu probably winning. More than likely, we're going to get some kind of War Games match in November, whether it's Bloodline members like Civil War, where you have the Usos with Roman, maybe Sami Zayn's in there versus this new Bloodline, or it's a mix of just baby faces on SmackDown versus the Bloodline, which I think would be the most boring, but it's the most likely, sadly. So, because of that, I... <laughs> I think Solo and Fatu are taking this win, and as far as The Rock appearing, I whew, I just don't think he will. I think it's too early. The Rock's got a tough schedule, man. He's got a Christmas movie with Chris Evans he's got to promote soon. I don't know. I just don't see him walking out already, because if he does walk out this early at Bad Blood, then what's next? I'm probably... Like, is he gonna like show up on SmackDown? I don't think so. We probably wouldn't see him till the Rumble. So, him just showing up at, at Bad Blood just for the pop, for us to get excited for something we're not gonna see till April, like, I don't know. What would be the point? Solo and Jacob Fatu, I think, are winning this match. And yeah, this is a solid card for Bad Blood. I'm excited to see what will happen. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, this Saturday in Atlanta should be a good time. Let me know what you guys think and who you think should win at Bad Blood. Subscribe to Shockwave Sports. We have a really awesome WWE 2K24 series on the channel that is posting videos every Monday and Friday. It is the number one destination for your Create a Wrestler. And I'll see you all in the next video.